Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Kwana. In today's video, we're gonna review Donna's recipe by Tab of the Brown. She has this new whipped vanilla cream line. And I'm really glad that my package finally came because as you can see, the braids are looking very crusty dusty and I haven't had no motivation to take them out, but now that I have this, I'm excited about it. Okay, real quick, let's just go over what's in here. We have a whipped vanilla cream blow dry and heat protectant spray. We have the whipped vanilla cream edge gel, whipped vanilla cream, curl defining mousse these are big bottles and lastly we have the whip vanilla cream curl enhancing gel the bottles for this curl enhancing gel and this curl defining mousse are larger than most products i've used they're very tall 10 ounces for the curl enhancing gel eight and a half ounces for the curl defining mousse so in top of the brown's video we're on her own page like showing a demo of how the products work she specifically said that sweet potato pie, so the first line, and then this new whipped vanilla cream line were meant to be used together. Like I'll put a little whipped vanilla cream on top of your sweet potato pie. So you can use these together and there shouldn't be any buildup. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair really quick with the moisturizing shampoo and then I'm gonna use the conditioner and then I'll be back to try the curl enhancing products. Before I go wash this, I just had to show y'all we're starting with look at how dry and crusty okay y'all i'm back my hair is freshly washed i haven't used donna's recipe in a hot minute because i've been obsessed with fenty since i bought it and i forgot how good it smells like the sweet potato pie one it smells so good it smells like you're in a bakery love that my hair feels good i washed shampooed my hair twice and i forgot that that shampoo is kind of stripping but luckily the conditioner does a good job of like adding that moisture back. So my hair feels pretty good. I am gonna start with using the sweet potato pie extra creamy leave-in conditioner just to give my hair a little base. And she also did this. <gasps> See. It smells so good. Okay, now that that's done, I'm trying to decide if I want to use curl defining gel or the curl defining mousse. In her video, she used the mousse on like the strands of her hair and then used the curl enhancing gel like more at the roots. I guess I'm gonna try that too. I'm gonna take pretty small sections. Or I guess that's like a medium sized section. Donna's recipe also has a spray bottle and I love this one because it's like a misty one. So if I need to add more water, which I probably will, I'll use that throughout my so I'm just gonna start by detangling each of the sections before I add the product. So yeah, I'm gonna start with the curl defining mousse. <clears throat> That's two pumps. I'm gonna try another pump. And I know how y'all like to be like, you don't have enough water in your hair. But my hair is freshly washed. And I just added water. For me personally, when I define my curls, I like them to look super defined and this isn't giving me a super defined curl. And that's the mousse on its own. So I'm gonna take the curl enhancing gel and mix that with this. I do want to say, at least for the mousse, it doesn't feel dry and stripping like most other curl mousses I've used or tried. Okay, now see with the gel, I'm getting some definition. It's too much though. Way more than I probably needed. I'm scared I'm not gonna like this. <laughs> Do another section. Spray this one down really good. Y'all you know, see my hair is dripping on me. It's wet. Cause I know how y'all like to tussle in these comments. I'm gonna do it the same way. I'm gonna start with one pump of this. It's like a half a pump. I'm 
Okay, that one actually looks a little bit better with just the um, mousse. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of that just to see. It's not bad. The definitely is defining. It's just not like that super crispy defined look. Okay, I'm gonna add a little gel, about this much. Okay, so the thing is, it's not bad looking, but I think if my last video was a video of me reviewing the Dew, or I don't know how to say it, their like gel and stuff, and I feel like my curls looked a little more defined. I mean, this is defining, it's just not like, I don't know what I mean, right? I'm gonna keep going though. It's very moisturizing and it smells good. That looks good. Wait, why does that one look so good? That one looks good. Maybe I do need to use some more product, but I feel like that gel is really thick, so a little bit feels like it's going a long way. Also, I guess that could be because of my texture difference. Once you get to the top of my head, the looser my curls are. Front and sides of my hair. I don't know if this is heat damage or I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna have to finger coil to try to get them to match a little bit. So you'll see me do this a lot in the front. Okay, I was tripping. This is working very well. I don't know what was going on in that first back section, those first two sections. But the combo that's working is the water, detangling with the Denman, and doing a little half pump, <laughs> half pump of the mousse, and then a healthy squirt of the gel. Yeah, that looks good. Cute. Okay, I'm gonna go do this other side and then I'll be back. I've finished both sides of my hair. I actually think it turned out looking pretty good so far. So I think I'm gonna let this air dry. I'm gonna do my makeup and whatnot and then I'll be back. Okay, I know I look crazy right now. Hold on, hold on. So my hair is like 40% dry. It's mostly my roots that are still wet. So I'm gonna blow dry and try to stretch my hair because this shape just isn't doing it for me. I'm probably going to do some kind of style and like pin this the front of this back because I'm not really feeling this. Have a bang situation, I feel like I look like a mushroom. Okay, I'm starting with the blow dry and heat protectant spray. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this without disrupting the curl pattern too much. But just in case I mess it up, y'all see what it looks like now. And I'm using this Hot Tools blow dryer. I don't really know what I'm doing, but let's go ahead and try this. 
feels like any other edge control. I've been moving around for a few minutes trying to find a brush and this hold is like really nice if you watched my Fenty review when I used their edge gel it immediately turned to like grease and this one's not doing that I had to come back to say, if you use the edge control mixed with some of that curl mousse, it, it holds really nice. Like look at the waves here. I should have been recording, but yeah. Anyways, now I'm done for real. I love these products. My hair is super soft. It does not have a crunchy hold at all. It has more of a soft hold. My hair smells amazing. It smells like I... I bake all day and I'm just really clean. Yeah, I don't know what I would rate this, honestly. I'd probably give it like, I'd probably give it like an eight out of 10 for my type four hair because I know everybody's different. Um, yeah, the curl defining, it did define them, but it could have been a little bit more defined. So that's why I give it that. But as far as like the moisture, the smell, how they work, I think it worked pretty good overall, so. I will be using these more and if y'all have any video requests let me know and i'll see y'all in my next video bye